Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome to another Magic Arena Explorer video. So today we are playing a little bit of Gruel Vehicles, um, which is a deck which we've played a few times before, but we are running a new card, which is the Huntsman's Redemption. So this is a card that's uh, growing in popularity since Worlds of Eldraine came out. It's a saga for three mana. The first chapter creates a 3-3 green beast creature token. Second chapter, you may sacrifice a creature. If you do search your library for a creature or basic land card, reveal it, put it into your hand, then shuffle. And then at chapter three, up to two target creatures each get plus two, plus two, and gain trample until end of turn. So this uh, not only uh, combos quite nicely with uh, some of our effects in the deck, um, you know, going to get our Voldar and Thrill Seekers or our Storm Seekers or whatever it is we're kind of looking for, but also when paired with the Acroan War, where you're stealing the opponent's creatures. Um, not only do you now have the option of sacrificing them to the Thrill Seeker, but also potentially to the Huntsman's Redemption as well. So there's uh, options there, um, and the Acroan War is a card that sees a lot of play in this vehicle's deck, so we are running the full four copies of that. Um, and then the rest of the deck is broadly as you'd expect to find it. So we've got the full eight copies of the one mana um, mana elves. We've got an obliterating bolt and a scavenging ooze at two mana. Um, so just a little bit of removal um, and also some graveyard hate if we need it in the main deck. Four copies of Bone Crusher Giant, seen this card many times before, very powerful, two mana instant and then three mana creature. Reckless Storm Seeker that allows us to give our vehicles and other things haste the turn. Um, each combat, um, Voldar and Thrill Seeker, which is a 1-1 one, one for 3 with backup 2, um, and it has its backup ability, and it has this ability on itself, where you can pay 1 and sacrifice this creature to deal damage equal to its power to any target, so combine that with a Lovestruck Beast or some big creature you've stolen from your opponent, and suddenly you can be doing them 7-8 uh, damage out of nowhere, so that's very good. Then the Huntsman's Redemption. Then we've got the full four copies of a Seeker's Chariot, um, which pairs very well with the uh, Reckless Storm Seeker when you can give the uh, Chariot haste um, and immediately start copying your tokens. And then one copy of Sky Sovereign at the top end as well. So that is the main deck. Um, we're also running Gigantha, I should say, just because uh, this deck does allow us to, um, like a lot of vehicles decks do. Then the Mana Base, a lot of Dual Lands, three copies of Mutavolt just to help uh, our creature count sometimes. Then a couple of Lair of the Hydras as creature lands. And then we're running two copies of Beseju and one copy of Sokanzan as our utility lands. Then in the sideboard, Gigantha takes up one slot. Then we've got End the Festivities to deal one damage to each opponent and each creature in Planeswalker they control. So good at clearing the board of um, one mana elves or spirits or whatever it may be. Rending Volley. Um, you see this in almost every sideboard where we want run red. Um, four damage to any white or blue creature, can't be countered. A couple more obliterating bolts if we need it to take out uh, slightly bigger creatures, and that exile effect can be useful as well. Outland Liberator, which helps us uh, destroy artifacts or enchantments. Then we've got Unlicensed Hearse for additional graveyard hate, as well as Clothis. Um, Tranquil Frillback, which is a recent uh, addition from uh, March of the Machine Aftermath. Um, so this is a 3-3 for 3, but comes into play with uh, additional effects for each green you pay above that, so you can destroy an artifact or enchantment, exile a player's graveyard, or gain 4 life, so very good. And then Hazard at the Fervent, um, bring that in where we need to kind of smash and do lots of damage very quickly. Um, a very powerful, indestructible haste creature that can only attack if you have one or fewer cards in your hand. And then we're also running two copies of Gruel Charms. This is a recent addition to the format, um, but should be quite interesting. So Gruel Charm is one of the Ravnica Charm cycles, um, and it's red and green, and it says choose one. Creatures without flying can't block this turn. Gain control of all permanents you own. But it deals three damage to each creature with flying. So that's quite versatile. Um, if we need to punch through um, a whole load of ground creatures, then we can. Um, if we need to uh, deal with the opponent's board of flyers, similarly. And, you know, that kind of... Uh, that second clause you're not going to use very often, but might occasionally be helpful. So that is the deck. Let's uh, go onto the ladder and see how we go on. Thank you very much for watching as ever. Hit those like and subscribe buttons. Always appreciate the support. You always hear me say it, but uh, it's always true. And uh, yeah, let's see how we go on with this. Yeah, I like this. So we'll open with a classic Elvish mystic.
Okay, our opponent's playing the Convoke deck. Yeah, this should be quite interesting. So let's... Uh, so we could Storm Seeker here and start working towards playing Chariot. I quite like that, I think. Also provides a decent blocker for a turn. Yeah, very good. Okay, that's worked out very nicely for us. So let's power up the chariot. Let's give it Yep. Classic power of the vehicles deck. So our opponent is on a lot of uh, small creatures, um, but these this can take out their Knight Errants and their Venerated Loxodons, so that's worth keeping. Um, do I want Gruel Charm here to punch through all of their... Maybe not, I don't think. No. Let's take out. I think I'll take out the Acroan War here. I'm not that fussed about stealing any one of their creatures because they're all quite low value. Yep, this looks like a decent enough hand to me. Some decent removal. So let's play Copperline Gorge, hold up Rending Volley. Sure thing. And the Epicure. Okay, well, let's take out the token just so they can't uh, flip their legions landing next turn. Let's hold up Bone Crusher Giant for something. Let's kill their Thraven Inspector in response. That way they cannot go to a five mana play. With Convoke, I mean. Okay, what are we casting here? So we could cast the Huntsman's Redemption, get a 3 3 into play, could cast Bone Crusher Giant. No, let's start on a Huntsman's Redemption. Could do with a smidge more land. Yeah. Looks like a convoke creature's coming down. Yep. Ooh, the bunny corn. Not a big fan of seeing that here, to be honest. Let's not sacrifice here. Let's obliterating bolt their knight errant. Let's play heart's desire. Uh, Bunnicorn. Maybe I do need the Acroan War, actually. This, this deck is not very good at dealing with that. 
yeah, I think we'll put the Acro and War back in. Interesting. Okay, well, let's take out a couple of their non land permanents. Uh, yep. So I'm tempted to play chariot here. I think we should do that. Now we at least have infinite uh, potentially infinite blockers for their bunnycorn. Don't like having all these three mana things trapped in my hand and only four land. Okay, I think I'm happy to uh, throw away a cat here. Hmm, that's not good news. Okay, we'll uh, scoop up this one, I think. So let's pop back in the Crowan War. Uh, what are we taking out here? Thrill Seeker, maybe? Although, if you steal a Thrill Seeker, if you steal a Bunny Corner, then throw it at them. It's pretty good. Um, maybe we don't need Bone Crusher here. Yeah. Two mana removal is not where we're at. Hmm. Uh, this is a pretty bad hand, but it could potentially turn into quite a good hand. Not sure I can keep it though. No. That's better. That's much better. So let's lose Lair of the Hydra. And the festivities is potentially very, very powerful here. Um, but I think we can risk waiting for a couple more one ones. Hopefully they'll play like a hmm, interesting. Okay, well, let's stick the Huntsman's Redemption to play. Interesting. Uh, no, I don't think so. Let's play an Elf. Let's attack with our... 3 3 token. Let's play another Huntsman. And depending on what they do, I might well sacrifice the elf to go and get a um a 
Oh, well, that's not relevant. Please not a venerated Loxodon. Please, Knight Errant. Please, Knight Errant. Damn it. <laughs> okay. Right, let's give these trample. Let's place Sky Sovereign. Then I'm pretty comfortable that as long as we don't die, we can win next turn. Okay, looks like we're going to die. That is tragic in the extreme. Yep, couldn't quite get there. Never mind. Um, this hand's not amazing, but I will keep it because it gives us plenty to do. Okay. Okay, waste not it is. Let's just try and beat them down as quickly as possible. Uh, let's play another Mutavolt. Let's pop our Lovestruck Beast into play. Give it haste. Okay, they're running a bit low on life, which is good. That's a problem. So is that. Okay. Okay, get them down to two. They go to four. Okay, sacrifice. Oh. Okay, we can win. So let's play Thrill Seeker. Give this back up. Yep. Okay, what are we bringing in against Waste Not? So Liberator, Frill back. That's probably it. And let's take out Sky Sovereign and Ooze, I think, here.
the Waste Not deck is uh, doing the rounds, isn't it? We've played against it more often than any other deck um, in recent days. Can't keep that. Can keep that. Let's get rid of one copy of the Acroid War. It's a little on the slow side, this hand. Start uh, dropping some things out of our hand. Having adventure creatures is quite good. Um, Just because it's uh they disappear out of our hand quite quickly. Okay, that's a decent card for them. And we are stuck on land. Well, this is pretty awkward. Well, that's something, I suppose. Let's play the Huntsman's Redemption. Looks to me like they've got a handful of removal. Yep. It's fine. I can wait. Another one into play. Yep. Um, okay, let's just pop this Lovestruck Beast into play. This lack of land is uh, going to be pretty terminal for us, I think. Just too slow. Storm Seeker into play. I'm going to run out of removal eventually. Well, maybe they're not. Um. Let's play a chariot. Okay, they can take our other chariot here, draw a card, two cards, Jesus. Yep, this is not looking good. Pop Elf into play, not putting Gigantha in my hand because I'll just have to discard it.
Okay, all right, let's try again, just with a better hand. Let's lower our curve as much as possible, so let's pop in Hazaret, take out the Seeker's Chariot, take out a couple of Huntsman's Redemption, pop in Gruel Charm, Clothis, maybe keep Ooze in. Um, yep. No red mana is not a keep. That's better. So let's pop back Soken Zan or the Acroan War. We just try and spit our whole hand out as quickly as possible, I suppose. Yeah. Okay, another thought sees it is. Let's attack with our Mutavolt. This is where they play Shieldred and we lose. Let's just uh, do what we can with our Mutavolts. Okay, that's the problem. Problem we can't do anything about. Yep. Oh dear, not going very well at all. Right, let's have one last go around the fun fair. This is a decent enough hand. Lava glide pathway, you say. I wonder what they've got going on here. Some sort of Phoenix or creativity deck. Yeah, creativity it is. You don't like you don't see enough of these uh, creativity style decks anymore.
Ah, magma opus. Okay, cool, cool. So they will be playing Gear Hulk then. Ooh, that's good. Let's play Ooze. Exile one opus and another. Then I think it's just a case of waiting to see what happens. I thought they'd uh, discarded another one there and I was ready to get really quite annoyed. Okay, well let's not fall into their rather obvious trap. Yep. I shall have that. Thank you, thank you. Doesn't do anything that card at the moment. Well. Fair enough. I'll do two damage to that so that it dies. I'll play Bone Crusher and also Elf. Yeah, that didn't do what they thought it did. Interesting. Okay, so creativity, but Gear Hulk creativity. So let's pop in the hearse and clothe this. Then tranquil frill back. Probably do. Uh, what are we taking out? I do quite like stealing Gear Hulk with the Acroan War. Let's take out Lovestruck Beast. It doesn't really line up well against what they're doing. And Sky Sovereign as well.
We see her squeaky. <laughs> as well drop that now it's going to sit there all game anyway ooh fun let's play storm seeker Four steam vents. Um, I think they hit the wrong mode there again. It's been a little unfortunate for our opponent here. They've not uh, necessarily played this uh, particularly well. Just uh, silly mistakes rather than strategy. But. Um... Right, let's kill that. And they'll need a removal spell of some kind. They can't target Giant with it, so they'll have to kill the Storm Seeker. Uh, maybe we should have given this to Giant instead then, because that would have guaranteed five damage. Meh. Don't think it's going to make a huge amount of difference. Are they sulking? Okay, well, we were able to sneak a win at the end there. So, yeah, not hugely good performance by the deck. Um, I do think we need to reconsider maybe some of our sideboard um, strategies at the moment, just because we are running into waste not a lot, and we need really consistent ways of getting rid of that. Maybe we need more enchantment hate in our sideboards. Hmm, something to keep an eye on, anyway. Because that definitely seems to be the uh, deck of choice at the moment. A pack. Gumdrop Poisoner. I think this is, this, I've seen this in a couple of builds. Maybe I'll have to try that one at some point. Yeah, so this is the deck one more time. I wasn't thrilled with how the Huntsman's Redemption performed, to be honest. Uh, it never, we never really got into the situation where we kind of use its interaction with the Acroan War and various things may be a little bit too uh, finickety to make that properly happen. But uh, yeah, one to keep an eye on. There's certainly, you know, each of its abilities is individually quite useful. So maybe this isn't the right build for it. But uh, yeah, we'll see. Thanks very much for watching, and uh, I will see you next time.